Yeah, so um, for a long time we've known that in CML, although the core of the disease is the uh, BCR Abel or Philadelphia chromosome, we've known for decades from cytogenetic analysis that some patients will have additional abnormalities. The clinical significance of those abnormalities since more effective tyrosine kinase inhibitors have been developed ha has been somewhat unclear. But in recent years, with improvements in sequencing technology, we're, we're now better able to dissect genomic complexity in CML. And what's been shown um, in, in a number of studies, including work pioneered by um, Sue Branford and Narani Shanmuganathan, who are colleagues of mine in Adelaide, um, we've seen that um, around 20% of patients have additional genomic abnormalities in the kind of genes that we see in MDS or AML, um, particularly ASXL1 is the gene most frequently mutated. And those patients seem to have inferior molecular responses to imatinib. Um, there's very limited evidence about whether um, escalating therapy in those patients and giving them a second generation ty tyrosine kinase inhibitor would overcome the adverse effect of those lesions. Um, uh, so, but I think that's an important question for which we'll need more data. I know there's a number of groups around the world, including the uh, Germans in the TIGER study, which is using nilotinib, are looking at the same lesions. So I think quite soon we'll have some idea of whether um, the prognostic effect differs according to the treatment that's given. Um, the other very interesting finding that came from um, Sue's work is this class of abnormalities called um, Philadelphia associated rearrangements. So we know that when BCR ABLE is formed, um, chromosome 9 and 22 break apart and then they rejoin. But in, in some cases um, with uh, RNA sequencing, it's shown that there are additional deletions or inversions, sometimes involving uh, adjacent genes on chromosome 9 or 22, or sometimes other genes on other chromosomes altogether. Um, and the formation of those abnormalities uh, seems also to have a prognostic effect, um, which is quite interesting because we've always thought that it doesn't really matter how you get your Philadelphia chromosome, that it always has the same effect. But these additional abnormalities do seem to be associated with a higher risk of, um, for instance, developing kinase domain mutations. Um, so this work needs to be validated by other groups, but it's uh, giving us some insights into what goes on uh, beyond um, uh, perceiving BCR-ABLE as the same in every patient.